record it. Perfect. So today's training is going to be on everything you need to know for your first day, um, whether it, for those first day shifts. Okay, so in preparation to your first shift, there are some things that you want will want to know before going into working, like any information, and you can find that additional information just in these two sections. You can learn more about the child care program, like who the director is, how long they've been opened, what age groups they do anything like that and you can also find more job notes just in the bottom right there and of course you'll want to know things like where you are headed so it will always have the address at the top right there and of course how many hours you will work um this is where you can find everything we do also have a messaging section where you can reach out to daycares and everything like that um, make sure you guys are aware of the hours that you are working so when the day does come, the shift does come around, you are totally aware of that and we don't have any problems with it. Um, and then the next thing will be getting ready. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this on dress code. Dress code is just casual to business casual. And of course, remember you are playing with kids, so make sure you're in something that you can move around in, bend over, reach up, anything like that. Um, and like it says, keep it PG. If you have any tattoos, make sure if they aren't PG to just cover them up with clothing or anything like that, but definitely keep it PG. Um, are there any questions about that or are you good? Perfect. The next thing is to remember when you get there to arrive 10 to 15 minutes earlier. It just gives you more time to clock in and out. You can clock in on your schedule right there and it'll just show up once you've clocked in. And once you do get there 10 minutes or 15 minutes early, it'll give you time to ask that provider any questions about what you'll be doing that day, um, what age group you'll be working with. It'll give them time to also show you around the classroom, around the daycare, so there's no hiccups of where you need to be, what you'll be doing, anything like that. Um, next are phones. Phones. This is your job. We don't want you guys on your phones or anything like that on the clock. We want to make sure those kids are getting that interaction that they really deserve and that you are really paying attention to those kids, making sure they're having fun, being safe and all of that good stuff. Um, we also don't count you as an active caregiver when you are just sitting on your phone. So to be able to act uh, to count as an active daycare active caregivers so sorry make sure you're really interacting with them and being um including with all the kids and all the activities um yes they can be used as a research resource just make sure that it is okay with the provider that you are using your phone you can use it as music or anything like that um sometimes if they do have a lesson plan for you that you are going to be using songs for you can use your phone if it is okay with the provider um but another thing is to make sure you are not taking pictures of the children or with the children it is illegal and against privacy policy so do just make sure you're not taking any pictures with the kids um that's a big no-no. And then breaks. Breaks are mentioned in the app in the shift. You can see how long you have a break for, if it's paid for, unpaid for, just in the break little section. Um, if you are eating on your breaks, make sure you are eating in the correct designated areas to avoid allergic reactions, contaminations, anything like that. Uh, I'm sure the provider will show you where their set room is, if they have a set room for those breaks, lunch breaks, anything like that. But if you do leave, uh, just make sure you have enough time to get back 
on time for your shift from your break. Um, when going on break, make sure you just clock out in your time card and then clock back in when you get back. At the end of the day, end of the day, just make sure you're connecting with your provider, asking them if they need anything else help in addition maybe they might have you take out the trash pick up toys while they're getting the evening snack ready anything like that and just make sure you're helping out as much as you can with the end of the day routine um, of course make sure to grab your belongings you don't want to leave a phone or car keys behind make sure you have everything and when you are ready to just clock out and submit your hours you clock out right there and then submit your time card at the end of the day. Um, once that's all done, now we will talk about how pay works. Submitting your time card, you'll just hit that button. I'll go back, submit time card at the bottom of the time card, and you will be submitting those hours to the daycare so that they can approve it and get a paycheck submitted and on their way, on its way to you. Uh, for your first shift worked, it can take up to a week to get that process and directly into your account. But after, after that first shift, all of your other shifts will take around one to three business days or just days to get that directly deposited into your account. Um, but that is our training for today, just first day questions. Do we have any questions that you guys might have? Uh, anything like that? Now is your time to ask 